Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do points validation within the SDMT. To validate primary sampling units, click on points validation on the left side menu. A satellite map showing all the units within that particular country will be loaded. Zoom in to be able to get more information about the points. The points are displayed in different colors, showing their validation status. The yellow points represent those units that have not been validated. Green represents those that have been accepted and red represents those that have been rejected. To accept a unit, click on it. You will be able to view three buttons, accept, reject, and show SSUs and TSUs. To get more insight about that particular primary sampling unit, you can use the Show SSUs and TSUs button to load the sampling units within that PSU. Once you are okay that that is a valid point, go ahead and click on the Accept button. You will need to confirm that that unit is indeed a valid sampling unit. Click on Accept and the unit has been successfully accepted. Now let's go ahead and check on how to reject a sampling unit. The procedure is the same. You will click on the sampling unit and you will get the pop-up where we have the accept, reject, and short SSUs and TSUs button. Now we want to go ahead and reject this unit. Click on the reject button. And you'll have to confirm that you are sure that there is no grazing or agricultural fields within that PSU. For rejection, one has to provide a reason why they are rejecting that sampling unit. You can select the, from the list provided and provide additional information. Prom Once OK, click on the reject and replace unit. The unit has been successfully rejected and replaced by another unit within the same strata. And as you notice, the color has changed from yellow to red. Thank you. That is how a country supervisor accepts or rejects primary sampling units within the SDMT.